Hi, I'm Terry and I'd like to talk to you today about uh, building a low-cost, inexpensive hyperbaric chamber. Um, I find that on the internet where hyperbaric chambers have a potential of doing a lot of good for a lot of different ailments and uh, I didn't feel like spending five thousand dollars to uh, see if it really works so I uh, friend and I made made one here uh, on our own. We used two 55 gallon drums and we coupled them together with, with a one foot section of, of steel and um, made this chamber and it uh, operates about four to five psi uh, with uh, regular air that increases the oxygen by about thirty percent and uh, it does everything that the expensive units do with a whole lot less cost. I'll just show you some of the parts that we used. We used the bulkhead fittings. Uh, I've got seven of them, but we could have got by with probably five as we found out uh, as we moved along. Um, we, we joined two relief, pressure relief valves. And here's the part number that uh, you can use. Uh, We've got a 0 to 15 PSI gauge, uh, primarily for setup. Once, once these are all set, it, it stays pretty good. Um, I have an air intake, and, and that's really all I need from the outside, because once you turn the pump off, the air drains out quite nice. And then uh, we put a porthole in, and you can see from this end here, um, we have a door with lighting and inside I've got two ball valves and a uh, vacuum gauge and uh, you need the ball valves so that when you're here by yourself you can drain off the air faster than it's coming in so you can relieve the pressure because the uh, pressure on the door is uh, over 1500 pounds at 5 psi so uh, we got uh, some fancy uh, uh, anti-roll devices here that keeps the barrel from rolling and I got a timer that goes up to an hour works quite well and I'm gonna run it here just to show you what it is um, the door is is all plywood and I'm using the foam sealer like you'd get it from Walmart or somewhere for your window seals. It's a closed foam seal and it works quite nice. Um, the way this door goes in, it goes in like this. And just to hold it in place, I'm going to put a stick here where I turn on the pump. And then the pump, I got it stuck over here in the corner. It's a Bullard, uh, Bullard pump. And I do have a write-up I'm going to put online. And this pump, I've got a pipe on it so that the air intake is up high so it's not down by the floor. And I put some cement blocks and some uh, insulation around it to help the noise. But it's, it is noisy, so here it goes. Turn this light off. Come on down here. And you can see the, the pressure going up on the gauge. And like I said, I've got it set right now between 4 and 5 psi. And uh, it takes a little bit over a minute to get up, up, the, up the pressure. But it, like I say, a two, two psi already, it's already got more force on the door so you can't open it. You need the door to close from the inside out. I put a right up on it online so you can see a lot more, but uh, uh, this is all it takes. This holds the pressure and it does the job, everything that the expensive units do. So I hope you enjoy the video and hope this gives, gives you some idea what 
all about. Thank you.